everybody, this is Dr. Robert Berger, and I'm glad you could be with us today because today we're going to be uh, summing up the information on ATP and cellular energy, and of course, going into some aspects of cancer as we did towards the uh, last part of the last show. And one of the things I wanted to do before we go on is to define what cancer is. And people always ask, well, what is cancer? And nobody really has a definition. But there is a definition for cancer, and it's called immortality in cell culture. That's the definition. And you, you probably won't hear that in very many places because people don't talk about cell culture. They think that cancer, they would talk about uh, something growing or moving in the body. And of course, that is cancer. But the thing is, the real definition is called immortality in cell culture. Now, the word immortality means it doesn't die. And a true cancer cell, or two true cancer cells and tissues, are basically immortal. They just keep on going. They keep on reproducing, and there's nothing to stop them usually. Unless, of course, you use certain types of either chemotherapy, radiation, nutraceuticals, combinations, integrative medicine. Of course, there's many different types of drugs, as well as nutraceuticals, that are going to try to be, when I'm going to use the word palliative, meaning to relieve someone of this terrible type of disease. And so we're going to be talking a lot about different uh, chemotherapies along with integrative therapies. And hopefully you'll really understand now what some of these things really do. Now before, of course, going into that, once again, I want to uh, talk about cancer in general. Remember the last show we talked about how cancer strips our normal cells, or healthy cells, cells that we need, of the vital nutrients in order to live. And so this is one of the ways it kills us. And that's very important to understand, the nutrition side. But also remember what cancer is. It's a immortal type of tissue that just keeps on going. And so what cancer really is, is it seems to be some type of cell tissues that have absolutely no regard or no respect for the way our bodies are supposed to work. And our bodies are supposed to work by a cell has a certain life and then it dies and then new cells go in. Well, that's not the way cancer works. Cancer just keeps on piling up. And this continuous pile, uh, what that is, is a, a problem because it's stripping our normal cells and the area around those normal cells of the very vital nutrients, and that's very, very important. Now, there's a very important aspect of cancer that people never talk about. Normal cells don't go from one area to another. They're very specific. Now, you don't see liver cells going to the lung, liver cells going to the kidney. You don't see that. But cancer cells do. And one of the reasons why this happens is because cancer cells are very, very slippery. They don't have the adhesive ability that our normal cells have. And so this is one of the problems. Let's say a woman has a breast tumor, which is made up of billions of cancer cells. Now that breast tumor may have a lot of these cells that slip away. And when they start to slip away from that tumor and travel, that's what we call metastasis and they can metastasize in any part of the body. The liver, the brain, the lung, the kidney. And this is really what starts to you know, cause the downfall of people when they have cancer. And that's very unfortunate because, uh, for instance, when you have breast cancer, and when a breast cancer cell has moved, let's say, to the liver, and if you look in the liver, an oncologist will say, we found a nodule, or we found cancer cells in the liver, that is not liver cancer. That's breast cancer that is moved to the liver. And what the problem here is, some types of tissues you can deal with in areas such as the breast where certain chemotherapy or certain nutraceuticals will work better. When those things metastasize, what happens is they are in an area that those drugs or nutraceuticals may not respond the same way as they would in the original tissue. So this is something that is, you know, everybody has to understand why 
metastasis or metastasized cells are not only deadly because they do move to vital organs, but also they move to areas where the chemotherapy, the radiation, the nutraceuticals may not be as effective as they would have been in the original tissue. And that's something that really nobody talks about. And this is why metastasis, and by the way, when I say metastasis, I'll be using the word METS, M-E-T-S, so you'll know what that means because that's a term that we use. It's just an easier way to say it. When they find these METS in different organs and tissues, and of course they diagnose the problem as a, a cancer of another, that stemmed from another area, this is where the problem really begins. And this is what we have to deal with, and this is why we have you know, the kind of chemotherapeutic agents that are out there, in many cases radiation, of course nutraceuticals we're going to be talking a lot about in the future, you know, very, very important. Integrative, now that's important using of course traditional and of course non-traditional, but to me and to the scientific world, integrative is probably the best word to use when you're trying to combine the best of both forces. And so that's very, very important. Um, now the next show we'll be going into breast cancer because this is important because it's a, obviously a very, uh, a very important subject because of the problem with breast cancer. It's becoming an epidemic, for, uh, epidemic numbers today and we really have to be able to put a handle on this. So until the next show, this is Dr. Robert Berger, and please visit our website at drrobertberger.com. Everybody have a great day, and we'll see you next time.